Hey Taurus, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. I'm sending you my love and my blessings. And know that if you don't have a special love person in your life, um, the love comes from within. Know that you are full of love, okay? Love is flowing within you. It's around you. Um, so do take the time to express gratitude. Um, and remember, you know, all the things that you are thankful for, everything that you have in your life that you're blessed with all right so Taurus we're gonna see what is going on all right right now in love um, this is for Taurus Sun Moon rising in Venus take what resonates leave the rest check out your moon your rising and your Venus sign um, quick announcement I do have my promotion going on still 10% off of everything on my Etsy shop from my personal love readings okay it's video recorded um, my spiritual jewelry to my oracle decks okay so check it out favorite my shop like me on instagram I and mean, follow me on instagram <laughs> and um i think that's it all right so taurus let's see what's going on your extended bonus reading for february 10th through the 21st is up on vimeo okay how does your person feel check it out what's on their mind what's in a heart space what are they not saying what are they not revealing and how do they really want to move forward we also see what's going on behind the scenes as well as the outcome. And I have some unrevealed secrets from your personal eyes. So check that out if you're interested. You know what? I'm going to start with my sacred signs and symbols. Okay. And I'm going to um, jump into the what's going on spread, the Celtic cross. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with my Tauruses out there. Taurus. This is sacred signs and symbols. My Oracle deck, it is 10% off for my Etsy shop. Check it out if you guys are interested. All right. What's up with Taurus? Taurus and whoever they're dealing with, what do they need to know? Ooh, okay. Someone is very stubborn and reluctant to come towards you, okay? We got the donkey energy, okay? This is a very stubborn person. You could be dealing with another earth sign. <laughs> it also could be you. Maybe you guys are stubborn to reach out to this person to say something, okay? Uh, there looks like there could have been a death here, a death in the co uh, connection. I'm not saying a death in the family. Um, if you guys are experiencing death in the family, um, my condolences go out to each and every one of you guys, okay? But what I'm seeing is there's, there's a there's an ending. There's a separation of some sort between you and the person, okay? Now, it could have recently happened. It could have been some time since you guys have uh, separated. But there's a closing of a cycle here, okay? There's an ending of a cycle. Typically, endings are followed with beginnings, right? So look at it that way. Um, but I also feel like in this separation, someone is very reluctant um, to do something, to reach out, okay, to say something. Your person could have been very stubborn and maybe they weren't giving you what you were asking for. There could have been a commitment on the table. Um, I'm getting your person maybe didn't want to commit. Okay, take it how it resonates, all right? Oh, let me get this some more good shuffles. Any other messages here for Taurus? Okay. We got the tree of life, karma. Okay, there may be an opportunity that's going to present itself. This is something you may not be seeing, okay? The tree of life, there's something here that's working um, for the divine good, okay? For the better uh, betterment of the connection and for your own good. So there may be an opportunity. I'm getting some kind of luck that may come your way with regard to the situation here. All right, we got fog, haze, confusion, so, okay, there's, there was a decision I do feel in the, in the past, and I feel like there could have been a lot of confusion as to where you stood with this person. Um, I feel like they could have been stringing you along. They could have been very unclear, okay? I'm getting, you could have been in that fog, okay, where you didn't see uh, where this was going. You didn't know what was happening. You didn't know how this person felt about you. Um, that's what I'm getting here. It's like the seven of cups, right? Things your option getting someone's options could have been open and you didn't know where you stood with regard to this person okay so there definitely was confusion i'm also seeing that right now there's some confusion about um the situation what's going to happen after this ending after this uh separation here all right we got the lion energy some of you guys are connecting with a leo all right um someone's pride could be getting in the way i'm feel like someone got a big ego someone has a big ego and I feel like they're holding back. This is someone who may be trying, they're using all their strength and willpower to not do something. Okay, we got that stubborn energy again. Let's get one more card. Okay. Ooh, snake. Um, deception, lies. So someone could have deceived you, okay, Taurus. You could have been dealing with someone who made a promise to you um, that they were going to do something and you got deceived. 
Okay, there was some kind of deception here. Also, could have been a lie. I'm getting two truths and one lie. It's like this person told you things here and not everything that they lived up to it at the end. Okay, I'm also saying it could be a snake in the environment. Okay, someone could have been up to no good. Okay, whether it's you, your person, or someone, a third party. Okay, a family member, friend. All right, so Taurus, let's get into your reading. How about it? Now, if this resonates, y'all know what to do. Show me some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you so much. All right, what's going on with my Tauruses out there? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is happening in their love life, please? This ending that they're experiencing with this person. Someone is reluctant to reach out. Okay, yeah. So what I'm seeing, we got the two of pentacles here. Okay, you could have been dealing again with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone has been juggling. Someone was very indecisive about you, Taurus. They didn't know what they wanted. And they kind of kept you, um, they kept you stuck because they needed to make a decision. And with that two of pentacles, they were going back and forth, right? Um, the page of cups came out with the challenging position. So I feel like this person offered you very little. They offered you just enough for you to stay, right? To keep you stuck, waiting on them. And I feel like you're waiting on this person, waiting for something to happen, waiting for this person to give you more than just this page of cups. Because the page of cups is just, it's small. It's a small offer. It's like, oh, I'm thinking about you. Oh, um, you know, you're on my mind. I do care about you. But it's not like, okay, well, what, then where is this going? Well, if you care about me, then show me. Then uh, make plans with me. Come see me. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like this person back and forth in and out okay take it how it resonates um but i'm also seeing they could have been juggling because there could have been another person okay there could have been another person or they were just so uh they were stuck on something here and it could have been very much um within themselves okay we got ego we got a prideful person here all right let's see what happened in the past here give me some more questions some of you guys they were very stubborn in terms of there could have been little things that they it caused a big hiccup, all right? It's like they wanted things to be a certain way. And if it wasn't done that way, they just were reluctant to move forward. Now, in the past, yeah, we got the Eight of Wands in reverse. So in the past, there was some kind of broken communication. All of a sudden, something stopped moving, okay? Whether this person pulled back, they stopped reaching out, okay, as they usually would. They stopped sending you morning texts or messages, okay? I feel like there was some kind of pullback. Now, it could have happened gradually or it could have happened very, very quickly, abruptly. And I feel like there's a lot of distance. There's been some physical and emotional distance between you guys, okay? But there's some delays here that you recently experienced with this person. And we got the four of pentacles, now, whoever this person is, Taurus, um, I do feel like there was a, all of a sudden this person became very guarded, okay? It's like they decided to all of a sudden hold back of, you know, offer very little, okay? I'm getting someone, I'm getting push and pull, push and pull here, okay? I'm getting like, you would reach out and you felt like this person pull away and more you reach out, this person will pull further away. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, and you were confused. You were in this cloud, cloud of energy. Some of you guys you were in a cloud because you love this person, and you may have saw the red flags, but you ignored it. And that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at that. You ignored the truth. The page of swords in reverse. Some of you guys, um, you decided to not see it for what it is. Okay, your person pulling away, and you just said, you know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna just um, not give up. And um, I think it made the, the situation worse or it caused this person to full, uh, pull back even more. Okay. Um, the Page of Swords, I do see them communicating immaturely with you. Or I feel like you are trying to dig for some information. This is you. Perhaps you're asking people. You're going on online, social media, Facebook. You're trying to find out information. This is you um, trying to uncover the truth. Because some of you guys, you feel like you don't know the truth. Right? Two truths and one lie. You guys are trying to find out what that one lie is, is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys, the challenge is for this person to apologize for something. Some of you guys, you want an apology for something that they did or didn't do. Let's see what's going on with your person. Yeah, the two of swords. Your person is still stuck. They have to make a decision. We've got the two of pentacles, the two of swords. What is this decision your person is trying to make, Taurus? I'm moving uh, so you can see your cards here. 
So your person is stuck in their head. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And they are going back and forth. They don't know what they want to do. They don't, they have their eye on a particular thing. I'm getting, you know, their eye is on the target. Okay, we got a prize here. And it's like they don't know which way to go. Some of you guys, there are two options. There are two people here. What's this? Yep. Six of Pentacles in verse. Your person has not been equally contributing to this partnership. You felt something was one-sided, Taurus. This person has not been giving you all of their time, all of their energy, their effort, and you felt that, and you kind of knew there was something going on with that page of swords. Some of you guys, you didn't ask this person. You just decided just, I'm just going to wait for them to come to me and tell me. Give me one more card here. Yeah, your person has taken a step back. The Ace of Cups, your person's offer of love is closed. Or they took back, they retracted, or they rescinded their offer. Some of you guys, there was a promise of you guys being in a, a relationship, okay, of some kind of new beginning here. And then it didn't, it fell through. I'm getting it fell through the cracks all of a sudden. Something didn't happen. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, so you guys are done with the water sign. I feel like this person almost fell out of love. And it's like, I think it was intentional. I'm feeling like your person with that guarded energy, all of a sudden they decided to, they just changed up. And all of a sudden something became very confusing. Now let's see what's coming into the moment. What's, what's coming into the moment with Taurus? Okay, we got the karmic card. We got the justice in reverse. There was an imbalance here. And there still is an imbalance. Now, Taurus... You could be done with the Libra. Um, this could be the Libra pulling back from you, okay? And again, if you're done with an air sign, this could be someone who's very logical in their head, and that's could be why you're confused. There's something that's turning, and you know what? I don't know. Let me get some clarity here. Some of you guys are in a legal situation here with this person. Someone's eyes are closed. What is going on? Empress here and the chariot cancer energy so i do feel some of you guys um you may have found out there was another person involved we got the empress okay um i feel like your person could have been nurturing another situation there could have been another um a commitment or some kind of falling out of a relationship external that this is for a select few of you guys okay there could have been a divorce here maybe you're finding out about okay some of you guys um wow there could have been a divorce or something someone's getting out of and they couldn't nurture the connection with you all right, at the time, others of you guys, your person is pursuing someone who is getting out of a commitment, out of a relationship. I feel like they were almost waiting on them. I'm getting an energy of waiting for them to get out of something, for them to move forward with that, and with the chariot energy. And that, that's something you find, it's very unfair. That's what I'm seeing. Obviously, it is. It's not fair. But your person has been waiting. They've been, they've been keeping another option open. They've been slowly giving less to you, okay, giving you the page of cups, keeping you stuck, but they were waiting for someone to get out of a connection or relationship, a marriage of some sort in order for them to move forward with that person. Some of you guys are finding that out. Some of you guys are uncovering this information, okay? Now, others of you guys, I feel like you could be that empress. Some of you guys are finding out you're pregnant, okay? That's a few of you guys. But what I'm seeing is that um, you have to pick your direction. You have to choose. If you're the empress, you have to choose which way you want to go because something here is, is not balanced. It's not fair. This person has not treated you right. They have not put you or made you a priority. Some of you guys, you have a child with this person, and it's very difficult for you to move on, okay? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? That's what I'm seeing here. You guys have a decision to make with regard to this person. And it's because something has been very unbalanced, okay? Let's see what else we need to know. What's this person's energy toward Taurus? Okay, your person has been quiet. They've been isolating themselves. They have not been talking. This is the energy of ghosting, right? It's like, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with my problems. I'm going to avoid social responsibility. I'm just going to be in this hermit energy. Leave me alone. That's what your person's in right now. And it could have been some lies, right? There's confusion. Um, and there may be another opportunity that's presented to your person. And now they don't want to talk about it. So we got that hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, because your person is avoiding making a decision about you. We got the judgment in the verse. They don't want to make a decision about this connection. This is someone who's, again, I don't want to do it. I don't, I, I don't want to... I don't want to be tied to the situation. This is someone who is literally keeping you stuck because they do not want to either break things off completely or they don't want to um, tell you why they broke things off. This is someone who 
knows they've made poor decisions in the past, right? The judgment in the verse, and they don't want to deal with it. Okay, so your person is just like, you know what, leave alone. Um, just avoiding the whole matter completely, All right? So, Taurus, let's get your clarity here, okay? Hopefully, this really gives you some clarity on a situation. Now, if this resonates for you, you do check out the extended bonus reading on Vimeo, February 10th through the 21st. How does my partner feel? What's on their mind? What's really going on? Their emotions, their feelings, their heart space. How do they view you and how do they see moving forward? We'll also see what's going on behind the scenes. Roadblocks, challenges, and the outcome, okay? So check that out, February 10th through the 21st. The link is in the description box. Now, the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups. They're giving you very little. The challenge is for them to give you more, right? Express more. Um share their feelings, but they're not. They're going back and forth. Some of you guys, they recently dropped this connection out of nowhere. It didn't even come with an apology. The Nine of Swords. You guys have been really stressed about this, Taurus. Okay, it's been causing some anxiety, some frustrations. Sleepless nights, okay? Now, it could be your person as well. They could be going through the sleepless nights and been wanting to tell you, wanting to do something here, but they can't do it. Now, in the past... Um, there has been uh, little efforts to build this connection on your person's part, okay? I feel like this person could have been moving very slow and then all of a sudden they stopped moving. I'm seeing something just stop moving. The Eight of Wands in reverse, there's been no communication. Um, I'm getting a pullback. Pullback, spending less time, making less effort, not reaching out, um, whereas in the past they always did. All of a sudden, something slowed, okay? And the Four Pentacles, they became very guarded, closed off. And Taurus, you're in that Page of Swords energy. You're trying to uncover details, facts, right? Because you've been left in the dark. The sun in reverse. Leo energy. You guys have been literally left in the dark. You don't know what's going on. You're in this fog, this confusion. You don't know what happened. You just know there was some kind of ending here with the skull energy. They've left you for dead. Some of you guys, they have completely abandoned you is what I'm seeing here. They abandoned the connection. Ace of Cups, they fell. This is someone who ended the, the love connection, okay? There was love here is what I'm seeing. Ace of Cups is confirming there was love, but all of a sudden they act like, oh, it didn't, it didn't mean anything, right? Got the deception. Could have been a lie that they told here. Um, they could have deceived you. I do feel there was love, but they deceived you thinking that you would, you guys would be able to move forward in some kind of higher level commitment, and I feel like there was a broken promise. Yep, look at that Ace of Cups in reverse again. There was a broken promise here. Now, the two of swords, a decision, head of a heart decision your person has to make. Um, yeah, about who they're going to invest in. I feel like your person has opportunities here. They have options, right? Options here. And they are not giving entirely to you, the Six of Pentacles in verse. And you feel that. You feel the pullback. There could be an empress here. Um, again, with, yeah, it could be a mistress. It could be a third party. They have to make a decision about. And that's the reason why things have been in balance, okay? A lack of reciprocity has been no equal give and take because your person has perhaps been giving to another person. Now, this person who they were uh, are involved with right now so you guys there is a pregnancy there is maybe they're expecting and that could be something that they're fearing okay um your person could have made a big boo-boo for some of you guys they could have gotten someone pregnant here is what i'm seeing okay um and there could be an issue of i'm getting child support for some of you guys the child may have been already born they may be going through some kind of custody law situation legal matters contracts some of you guys if it's not your person it could be you now, coming into the moment, yeah, I think you guys have to pick what you want to do, okay? Because you feel this person has not been living up to the expectations. They've been prom they've made promises. They have not kept it. They've um, given you an indication that things would be a certain way, and it's not. And you guys, the Queen of Pentacles, this is your energy. I don't like it in reverse, okay? So you guys have your out of alignment with yourself you feel imbalanced you feel some of you guys you've been relying on this person for something okay but you have to find your yourself you guys may have to work on your independence all right um i'm getting there could be some financial ties here codependencies you share with your person whether it's uh money finances bank accounts uh home family uh, children or something like that okay you guys have to find which way you want to go because there is some injustices here you feel this person has mistreated you maybe they've neglected or abandoned you in some way some way or some form and the chariot is you have to decide well how do i move forward okay how do i um safeguard myself okay because you guys are feeling very vulnerable right now is what i'm seeing yeah you guys have to drop something there's something you have to drop and it's going to give you your, your stability back okay 
Now, let's see the final uh, outcome. We got the person hermiting. They're doing a lot of thinking. They're retracting their energy. They're withdrawn right now. They're not speaking. And that's why the how does my partner feel will really look at the person's energy a little bit deeper and they extend it. But the hermit is really telling your person is, you know, not wanting to deal with this the situation, okay? They're taking a step back. They're avoiding responsibility, the judgment in reverse. They're not making good decisions. Yeah, look at that, four of swords, hibernating, okay? Retracting their energy. They're not speaking. But look at the heart string, right? They're, they're still thinking about this connection, okay? There's there's feelings here. There's a heart. Um, they may be heartbroken as well, experiencing some kind of pain, emotional pain, but they're not talking. That's what the four of swords is about. So that's what I'm seeing, Taurus. Check out your extended bonus reading. Um, everything is 10% off on my Etsy shop. Use the promo code SOUL10 if you're interested. Oracle Dex personal reading, spiritual jewelry. Check it out. I'm sending you all my love and blessings. Take care and stay safe.